Diagnostic certainty is an essential component of our cases. It helps us understand how certain the diagnosis is. It has several implications for the case itself and the searches on the site. It's important to remember that healthcare professionals around the world rely on the diagnostic certainty being correct. When you create your case, you have to specify a diagnostic certainty. You can find the slider for the four certainty levels below the title in the case edit mode, and you can also declare whether a diagnosis is not applicable just above the slider. Establishing diagnostic certainty might not always be easy. Please be pedantic and skeptical and choose the diagnostic certainty level with care. Certain. It is difficult to have a dogmatic definition for each level as this largely depends on the case. Diagnosis can be called certain if it has been established beyond a reasonable doubt and enough evidence has been included in the case to support this. In some instances, for example fractures, all that is required is imaging. In other situations, for example tumors, histology slides or report will be needed. Sometimes, microbiology or molecular or clinical information is most appropriate. A good rule of thumb is to ask yourself this. Would a pedantic high-end peer-reviewed journal accept the diagnosis if you submitted it as a case report? Almost certain. The diagnosis should be called almost certain if it has been established, but you are unable to provide the respective evidence. Probable. The diagnosis is considered probable if it has not been established, but it is far more likely than the other differential diagnoses. As a rule of thumb, this diagnosis needs to be at least 90% likely to be called probable. An example would be a typical appearing meningioma on MRI. Possible. A diagnosis is considered possible if it has a similar or slightly higher probability than the other differential diagnoses. In this case, you should include a thorough discussion about why this diagnosis is favored, what the differentials are, and what you need to consider to make this diagnosis. There is usually little teaching benefit from such cases, and as such we are gradually phasing out possible, and in almost all instances you should keep the case as a draft or unlisted until the diagnosis is established. Not applicable. Finally, a diagnosis is not applicable if the case presents normal anatomy, a diagram or a flowchart, classification, illustration, or something else. I hope this helps you to determine the diagnostic certainty of your particular case, and remember thinking about this issue will probably also give you a deeper understanding in the long run. We are certain about one thing, that each and every case makes Radiopedia a better place for everyone to learn.